Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome back. Let's turn again to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 that we should not disqualify ourselves for the prize, which is in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. And this prize is the final stage of salvation, the future stage of salvation, and that is when Jesus comes again. If you'd come with me to 1 John, 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. It says here, In this way, love is made complete among us so that we all have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world, we are like him. We had learned that every day we become, um, we are like clay and we become like Jesus. God forms us with the help of the Holy Spirit while we're here to keep us strong to make us to become more like Jesus. And so in verse 17, it says that on the day of judgment, we can be confident because even though we are in this world, we do according to 1 Corinthians chapter um, 9, verse 27, and we make our body our slave. We make our body stop paying attention to the things of the world, to the pleasures of the world, and we make sure that we are ready for when Jesus comes again. And when he comes again, we will have confidence that we are like him. Turn to the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 9. It says here in the Bible, Since we now have been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? There is a day that's coming in the future stage that involves the wrath of God. But praise be to God that we have been justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so we will be saved. That is why we looked yesterday and we saw that we, sh- we don't need to have fear for the day that's coming. We don't need to have fear, but we don't run aimlessly. We don't run without purpose. We are consistently looking towards that future day where part of it is involving of God's wrath. If you'd come to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, it says, we'll actually start in the middle of verse 9, towards the end of verse 9, and jump into verse 10. They tell how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who rescues us from the coming wrath. We turned away from the things of the world. We turned away from idols. We turned away from serving things and relying on things like money and power and status. And we turned to God. Now, while we are here in the present stage, we work every day to be obedient to God, to be in a relationship with Him, and to continue walking with Him through faith and and through grace, through His love. And we know that Jesus is coming again to rescue us from this wrath. So praise be to God that we serve a God who loves us, that we serve a God who sent his son to die for us, that we might be saved and we are rescued from the days of coming wrath. And that is beautiful for us, but that is part of the reason why our fight in the present stage is so important. So we fight for our families, we fight for our countries we fight for our cities as well so that they are not falling into the wrath either god wants everybody to know who he is god desires that we should all know him he says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so in preparation for the final day you and i still hold the responsibility today to take care of our soul but to also stand in unity with God in that fight. God bless you. See you tomorrow.